All right, so check this out. I've been trying to do some coverage on Samsung Dex because Samsung Dex changed a lot since the last time I went ahead and checked it out for real. I still use Samsung Dex every single day. I don't use it on my phone like that no more, but I still use it on my Galaxy Tab, and I'm trying to show y'all a little bit of what's going on. Because on some real shit, bro, Samsung don't even talk about Dex like that no more. So I'm trying to see what's good with it on the Galaxy Tab and the phone. All right, so like at least on the Galaxy tab over here, I was looking at Samsung Dex over the past like maybe six months or something like that. And they made some changes out here for real, like some bigger ones and some ones I don't even like for real like that. And I was gonna cover it and I never even did. So I don't even know what was good with that, but I'm about to go and show y'all right now. All right, so this is Samsung Dex that we all know of, the same one that we've seen over the last few years. It really didn't even change that much. The same exact Samsung Dex that Austin Evans still don't really know about that much because he's stuck in that damn Z Flip. <laughs> now I'm just playing, I'm just playing, bro. Just like much love to Austin Evans for real though. But yeah, this is Samsung Dex and they really ain't even changed all that much over the last few years like you trying to convince me that Samsung Dex went through a lot of changes since you like trying to convince me that the new Galaxy Buds don't look like AirPods like let's keep it a buck bro it do <laughs> but it's still functional it still works good you got a bunch of features over here like if I go to Spotify and I go to Google Play Music we still do got features like if I go ahead and put this over here to the left put that to the right we got this whole clipping thing like Windows but at the same time though and maybe I don't know like maybe they don't really have that much to change left but at the same time though it feel pretty familiar to what it's been looking like over the past few years, right? We still got a lot of the same features over here. We still got obviously folders or whatever else. We got our apps and we got our folders in there too. And then we got our notifications grouped together like this. Like I don't really see that much changed up over here, but it's still functional and it's still get the job done, which is the good thing over here. So we do got LumaFusion. So if I did want to go ahead and edit on it, it still works pretty good. You can see it's just smooth and everything. Let me go ahead and turn this up real quick. I love editing on Samsung Dicks. And also, I don't know if you noticed that, but let me go ahead and zoom in on this real quick. So, can you really see this over here? Samsung actually went ahead, and this ain't really just a Dex thing, but they changed the way the mouse look up on here. That's mad weird. So if I go and put this closer to the camera, you see how they made that to that little black mouse over there? I ain't gonna lie, I don't really feel it that much. You could be different in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about that. But me personally, I just don't really like that mouse. But it is what it is, bro. It's still a mouse. It just does what it's supposed to do. Like, it's getting the job done, right? But this is the basics of Samsung Dex. You're supposed to get this, like, Windows, like, Chrome OS type experience over here with floating windows and then you can do all this tab management or whatever else like it's dope only thing is and this could be app dependent but if i go ahead and try to drag a video to lumafusion for example i can't do that i would like to do that like i do on windows but i can't do that right here in this like samsung dex mode over here so there's still its limitations and there's still reasons why i would still rather edit on windows and that's exactly why i just got me a new galaxy book edge over here with the actual like snapdragon processor or whatever else like it's dope which for the record i do got right here and if i go and open this up i'm not trying to get too off topic but we do got that snapdragon next lead up in this so dope but samsung dex still got its limitations and if you want to i'll go and show you this in a second too you can go ahead and plug this whole experience right here into your desktop now for talking samsung app to samsung app right let me go ahead and drag whatever this is i think it's a pdf into samsung notes over here i can't go ahead and do that so i mean there's no limitation with that but i mean like with a lot of apps over here like LumaFusion, you can't do that so you got this version of samsung dex which work with a keyboard and mouse and everything like it usually do and then this is samsung dex if you went in and plugged into the desktop in like honestly at this point i feel like i'd just rather use the galaxy tab because Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Y'all remember when that went viral? But you see, I got my stream deck, I got my keyboard, I got my wireless mouse over here, so I'm not gonna use this one because it's not actually paired to my Galaxy Tab, so I'm not gonna bother with it. I got my LG monitor, I got some speakers, and I got all that over here. So let me go ahead and plug this in right here, and it takes just a second, so you can see right there, now we got the connected. I'm gonna move this Rode mic out the way, and then, as you can see here, you just give it a second, and it should pop up. All right, so damn, that took a grip, but check this out right here. So now we got, Samsung Dex, the monitor just turned on. Oh wait, shit, it didn't even do that. All right, bet, now we got Samsung Dex. And it boosts up quick into the Samsung Dex mode, but I'm not gonna lie, like for these widescreen monitors, it still could be a little bit more optimized than it is like right now. It's still decent though, but it's just like, I wish it was just more compact on this home screen. Cause if I go over here to the settings and go to the screen zoom and wherever else, I can't change this. But I mean, like if I zoom in, you can see that 21 by nine is supported. I got 2560 by 1080. And you can check this out. I can do a lot of the work that I usually can. Now there's still some limitations with this. Like for example, when I go over here to the sound, I go over here to this and I go to change audio output, it's giving me an option for display device, right? So I can go and change my audio to that. Now check this out, there's a problem with that. So my monitor actually got like a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack port and it sound garbage when I plug it in. So I gotta go and plug it into my adapter, but it don't show on decks. On Windows, I can see every single device I got over here. And all I get is display device over here. So I can't even get that. So basically if I want audio, I gotta go and plug into the monitor or I gotta go and click on this tablet and then I can go and do something with it. Which I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of whack, but that's not a Samsung Dex problem. That's just 
just an Android problem. That's just a limitation right there that I gotta go and get up on. But like, at the same time though, if I go ahead and do this. It worked. And I can go over here to Luma Fusion and I can keep editing if I want to. So I was just going ahead and editing this LG video and I never even put this out. But, I mean, you can see, working fine, look dope. And then I can go over here to Samsung Internet. Let's say I want to go and do some work over here. And then I can go over here to Spotify, go and change my song. I can go over here to my files and go and do some file management if I go ahead and do that right there. As you can see, I mean, it's a good experience. But at the same time, though, you're going to get kind of like a Chrome OS experience. Now, if I go ahead and close out of all of this and go ahead and plug this, I can go ahead and use my S20 Ultra, plug that in. And now we should get Samsung Dex on that too. So I don't use Samsung Dex on my phone, but you get Ethernet and all that on there too. So that's dope. But if we get that a minute right there, let's go and click on start and then check that out. Right there, Samsung Dex. Now I got it on my S20 Ultra and I'm going to go and click on OK and we should be straight. There we go. Now, I don't know why it's in this aspect ratio. Maybe that is because it's an older phone. You don't got the latest One UI and all that. It might not support this aspect ratio, but I'm going to try to find out real quick. So if I go over here to Samsung Dex, I scroll down, go to display resolution. Yeah, it's not supported, bro. Damn. So I got to go and get a newer phone if I want to do that. But still, at the same time, though, I can go and connect the Bluetooth mouse and I can go ahead and use the keyboard here. As you can see, I can go and pull up some Spotify and whatever else. So yeah, we get all that still. Let me go pull up Spotify. Let's go and click on Spotify right there. And and I can use it in my phone as a touchpad, as you can see over here. So that's also pretty dope. And it looks pretty much like the tablet version over here. So it's going through the phone, though. But I chose that. Now let me go do that. Worked just fine, bro. Now they had Samsung Dex for PC over here, but as far as I'm concerned, they discontinued that shit. Because that wasn't even no point of that for real. You got this version of Samsung Dex over here, which I don't even use that much. But if I go over here to Dex, we actually got wireless Dex. And I got my Samsung Smart TV. So that's my QN95B. So if I go and click on that, my QLED TV or my Neo QLED TV, see right there, S20 Ultra, click on allow. Let's give that a second. And Samsung Dex should just pull up just like this. And there you go, and connecting, S20 Ultra. And now we got Samsung Dex. And check this out, boom, just like that. Now I got on my TV. And they give you a touchpad again too, but really it ain't even that bad for real. I just don't really like it that much because it's a little bit lag and it's just, I don't know, ain't really no point for me. And then you got this last version of Samsung Dex, which I wanted to say for now, but you got this like new Samsung Dex over here. So if I go and click on this, hit start Dex, now we're in Dex. I know it's mad weird, but check this out. So if I want to go and click on like Google Play Store or something like that, you can see here it's showing in like actual windows now instead of how it used to be. So you know with regular tablet mode, it just pulls up apps in full screen. But now we're in this like new Dex mode where apparently it just makes it into floating windows, I guess. And if I go ahead and make that full screen there, you also get like the tab bar at the top or whatever else. But this is mad weird to me, man. I don't know. It's basically like a tablet mode, but with floating windows. I don't really like that for real. But they got this description right here, so check this out. So it says, the new Samsung Dex optimizes your tablet experience for use with a keyboard and mouse. You get to keep your usual tablet home screen while apps pop up in pop-up windows so you can move it around and resize. So that's just mad weird. It's basically, like I said, it's just the regular tablet mode, but you get floating windows. Like, what the fuck? That's not Dex, bro. So that's exactly why, and I hope it stays like this, but you can go over here, hold on to the Dex icon, and switch it to the classic, and you only get this on the Galaxy Tab. But you gotta go and click on Exit Dex, you gotta go and click on classic and then you get all those options right there and then you can hit start decks and you get back to the way you was before like the way it should be but with that being said man hopefully y'all enjoyed this let me know if y'all still use samsung decks in 2024 because they really ain't advertising it with no new devices and nothing like that like it's kind of crazy so i hope they'll discontinue it it's just like i don't know like is it just because it's an older feature now like they had it since the tab is full now actually they had it before that they had it with the galaxy s8 so that was the first device i got samsung decks and it still work on there but for real bro i hope they don't discontinue samsung Dex and I hope for sure they don't get rid of the classic one because Samsung Dex is dope for real. But for right now though, I'm gonna go and get about y'all later, man. So hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go and get this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe. Go and follow me on my social media at Isentech and Zagrimin X at Facebook, but Zagrimin X the most active. But I hope Samsung just keep improving Dex, bro, because they definitely do got some improvements they can keep doing, like I showed y'all, like with the wider aspect ratio, whatever else they can improve that. But I don't know, man. Samsung Dex took off, but they took off like as much as they probably wanted to, you feel me? But I I noticed on YouTube, like I was looking up Samsung Dex videos and low key, they get a decent amount of views, man. I looked up Samsung Dex 2024 and y'all's interested. So I was like, fuck it, why not? Let's see what's good with it. But yeah, I use Samsung Dex all the time. I just don't talk about it like that for real. Like maybe that's how it is with Samsung. Like just behind the scenes. I don't really know, but I hope they don't discontinue it. Anyway, man, with that being said, I'm gonna get it with y'all later. Peace out.